How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are back on Facebook Marketplace but we're not looking at ricers today. We are looking at some of the weirdest and just wackiest cars that are currently for sale. Cars that just honestly probably shouldn't exist. Like whoever created these cars wasted an absurd amount of money on nothing. I mean there are some pretty decent ones and there are some ricers but overall just some really weird and wacky cars and also extremely overpriced i think that's one thing all of these cars have in common extremely overpriced so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in all right first car oh my god this thing is fucking ugly we got a 2012 cadillac and this part might bring a tear to your eye this is indeed a ctsv oh my god it is so sad to see one like this man oh my god it's got 32s on this bitch 32s and i believe they're spinners it says dub wheel spin so they might be spinners <laughs> holy crap that is oh my god this wrap i mean honestly the wrap is kind of in style it's it's oh my god dude every angle of this car just looks worse and worse dude you know this poor transmission is is tired man that thing is just uh, 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 put me out of my fucking misery man i'm spinning 32s man i wasn't meant for this shit that trans is tired the interior's got the same kind of wrap in it but yeah the, 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 the color on a different car would actually be, be kind of fire like i mean I, I don't hate it i don't think it looks good on a ctsv um but uh oh my god how many speakers do you need in the oh my god yeah let's just go deaf with this car let's just go ahead and go deaf this is like oh my jesus dude look at this huge ass fucking wiring hazard i mean actually it's probably pretty professionally done it doesn't look that bad it doesn't look that much like a rat's nest sort of like a rat's nest but not not that much th th that thing would just make you go deaf like this whole car it it'll make you go blind and it'll make you go deaf this is the two for one special right here 32 beast mode right there on the front lower grill holy shit you think you think that's real gold i'm gonna say no i'm gonna say no on that one dude it doesn't even fit like th this car that, that, oh my god dude this poor ctsv it, it's a coupe uh, is it a manual too if it was a, no it's not okay i was gonna say if it was a manual it's even more rare the coupe i mean it's a cool car i'm surprised he doesn't show off lambo doors on it i know one ctsv with lambo doors mr alex um but yeah i mean dude i didn't know his interior was this butchered like i didn't know he did all this in here like i thought it was like okay you know whatever like yeah let's just wrap our center console with the, with the wrap sure whatever no, nah, I want to make you go fucking deaf, you know? If, if your eyesight survived while climbing in, your ears ain't going to survive by the time you climb out. You're done. This thing is atrocious. $35,000. I mean, honestly, I mean, a CTSV is probably around that. I want to say, I don't know how much they go for, at least not anymore. Um, but um, I'm sure he's taking a loss on it. He's definitely taking a loss. This is an expensive build, sadly. Like this. Damn. Uh, is it painted too? I have a feeling it's all paint. Everything gold is dipped, cowhide seats. It's got a few upgrades on it. Doesn't mention the paint though. Doesn't mention if it's a paint or a wrap. Who knows? I don't know. Either way, $35,000. You'll get a very unreliable, I mean, you'll get a, a very uh, problematic CTSV. I would imagine there's gonna be some drivetrain issues in the near future, so. You don't gotta worry about flooding though. So if you're in Florida, this might be the car for you. All right, next car. So this is probably the biggest ricer of the episode. We got the 2012 Dodge Challenger SXT Blacktop. 36,000, a little bit more expensive, but uh, not as flashy as if, if you ask me. Um, it's also in Washington. Let's take a look. I mean, the first photo, I mean, the front end, I don't mind the like nine bar grill up here. I don't think it looks that bad. I kind of like like the old school look. It kind of looks like it's like hiding the headlights. Having, um, <laughs> having four support rods holding up this like centimeter thick splitter like dude there's no there's not enough room for air to get over it like why why are you worried about it it's not even sticking out past your factory oem lip like okay yeah you need four support rods for that look at it it's uh, and it's held onto your lower grill like it's not even held onto anywhere structural like i know some lip kits come with this type of shit but you probably don't have to use it just saying He's got hood pins, of course, on the OEM hood. Yeah, be careful. The the mighty V6 might rip open the hood. All the airflow through that bad boy. Yeah, that's a... You know, I will give a compliment where compliments are due. I will be honest. His fitment is pretty nice. His fitment is pretty... It's pretty flush. Pretty flush. Not going to lie. It actually looks halfway decent on this boat. Um. Oh, God, that silhouette. Jesus. Ignore the fucking... Oh, my... God, the air brake on the back. What is that? What is that? That thing is... Thing is damn near vertical what are you doing there chief what, what's what's going on here holy sh shit i feel like these side blades are a little upside down too they kind of look like it maybe not but to me they look upside down i might be wrong 
Um, Jesus Christ, dude, that wing. Like the wicker bill was one thing. Sure, leave the wicker bill on. Adding a wing on top of that, this dude is smoking some uh, some good shit, some really good shit. The wheels actually don't look half bad for the car. Looks like he's got slotted and uh, drilled drums or not drums, rotors up here. So that's 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 cool. I guess that's fine. Uh, that wing does look suspiciously upside down. At least the, the the blades, they look weird. They look weird to me. I don't know. To me, it looks like it's upside down. If it just had the wicker bill, honestly, it probably wouldn't have ended up in this episode. But um, the wing, sweet cherry on top. Super tinted taillights, begging to be rear-ended. Just wants that rear end fucking pounded, you know? I mean, he drives a V6 Challenger, so he probably likes that anyways, you know? Uh, it's 2022, we can't really judge him. He's got a tow hitch. Don't know what you're towing with a V6 Challenger, you know? The car barely has enough power to push itself down the road. It's so fucking slow, but uh, yeah, sure, we, 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 we could do that. We could have hopes and dreams, I guess. Put a sport badge on it in a carbon fiber, of course, because a race car, you know, it's got two doors. So super, super fast because yeah, everything with two doors is super fast. Oh, oh, this part, this part makes me laugh. They really took some beauty shots of the engine bay. We got the sick K&N intake right here, but look at this beauty shot right here. Oh, just showing off the, the 3.6 liter in all of its glory. Look at that. Oh my God. Sick K&N intake, bro. Super cool. And his interior, just as depressing as his exterior. He's got a Hurst gear select. Cause it's not a fucking shifter because it's automatic. Yeah. I mean, um, Look, look, the car's bad. I don't, I don't know if you're getting 36k for this bad boy right here. How many miles does it have? How many miles does it have? Um, am I blind? I, I, I don't see it. Honestly, I lost interest. It probably has a lot. Probably has a, a good amount of miles on it. Where the fuck is the mileage? Shouldn't that be like some up here? They don't show it. They don't show the mileage. Am I blind? I, it's probably on screen and someone's like, dude, you're fucking stupid. You're blind. Uh, I, I might be. I might be, but I don't see it. I mean, I'm blinded by these shitty ass cars. That's what it is. I'm just absolutely blinded by it. But um, yeah, 36 grand. You can. What are those switches? What? What? What are these doing here? Does he have neon underglow? Are we about to see that in, a, in another photo? They took 41 fucking photos of this piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Why, why, why do we need this many photos? V6 Challenger, $36,000. Holy shit, I would never do that. You could literally buy like almost two five O's for that price of uh, Gen 1s. Yeah, I'd tell you around that. This thing. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. You know, well, speaking of Mopars, let's take a look at this 1996 Dodge Viper. The erect Dodge Viper. This is this is um this is probably above average size for a Dodge Viper, if I had to say so myself. This is um uh, this is pretty lengthy. This is this is a big boy viper right here. Oh my god, hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Where'd you come up with that price? You know, you just pulled it out of your ass. Holy shit, man! So we got a Dodge Viper limo. It's twenty five feet long. Drives great. Has a uh, three hundred ninety horsepower, three sixty Magnum crate motor made it to an automatic why wouldn't you have the uh the srt 10 why wouldn't you have the good old you know the v10 to pull this 25 foot fucking long limo i i've never seen one of these before this so, wow california car cover really made a custom limo car cover for this thing props to them props to them i used their car covers i didn't know they supplied this i didn't know that that's pretty impressive oh it's an old old 390 horsepower 360 crate motor i guess that makes sense because i don't think the magnums came with a 390 horsepower v8 you know don't think they came with that there might, there might have been a trim level but what is all this what am i looking at here is this all sound system and shit is that what this is beats me i wonder was this was this an actual viper that was turned into this or was this a car that was turned into a viper then turned into a limo like what 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 actually is this like what am i actually looking at is it if this is actually a viper someone genuinely cut up a work of art to make this this was their vision right here holy shit i don't know what people like are thinking when they do stupid shit like this like i've done some stupid shit in my past you know project wap i'll admit pretty dumb idea was fun pretty dumb idea though you know i've never had this idea though i've never thought hmm you know what? Let's do a 12C limo. Let's do that. $160,000. You know what you can buy for that? In some states, you can buy a house for that. That's, and you're going to, mm, a limo? Mm, this thing? What are you going to do with this thing? Like, I <sighs> can't see 10 to 12 and it does have seat belts for 10. Okay. Excellent opportunity to get your business noticed. Yeah. Rolling advertisement. This is not the kind of attention I want to bring to my business. Definitely not the kind I want to bring. 
Great for parades, special occasions. How many parades are there to where you'll get your money back for this? I don't even think you like, don't you have to pay to be in a parade? So you're just losing money on top of losing money. Like what? It, maybe not all parades, but I'm saying like, aren't like big parades you got to pay? I don't know. Um, removable trailer hitch. <laughs> there was a trailer hitch on this thing to tow floats as if it couldn't get any goofier. Topless vehicle price at 160. Serious inquiries only. Yeah. Um. I wonder how long this is going to be on the market. This might be a hot commodity right here, guys. If you guys just have $160,000 burning a hole in your wallet, um, here you go. This is the perfect opportunity to buy <laughs> this piece of shit. Holy shit. The super erect Dodge Viper. I really want to know if this was a Viper from the get go. It probably was, which is the saddest part because it looks it looks too much like a Viper. Did not have been a Viper. Oh, my God. 160000 <sighs> for 30,000 less. Oh my God, it gets even worse. For 30,000 less, you can buy this 1993 Toyota Supra Turbo liftback. Mine is a 93. I have a 93. I don't think mine is worth 130,000 though. I I'm just going to say that. I don't think mine is worth 130,000. So I'm really itching to see what this guy's got done to his to make it worth that. I'm thinking, you know, sequential. I'm thinking build motor, maybe even bill it some shit, you know? So some really high end shit. Let's take a look at this build. Sorry, I almost threw up right now because this price is just making me nauseous. Um, I mean, it's a clean Supra. I don't like, uh, I don't like black cars too much because they're just a pain to, you know, keep clean and stuff. So I probably wouldn't pay for a black Supra, but, um, it definitely looks clean. It's definitely like decent looking paint, at least in the photos. It looks pretty good. Black on black always looks pretty stylish. I mean, the wheels aren't my favorite, but, uh, decent looking wheels. I don't know what brand they are off the top of my head. I can't see them, but, um, I mean, they're not, they're not the worst thing ever. I mean, the paint looks good. Paint looks good. He's got like tinted side markers. I mean, it's a decent looking car. It's a left hand drive. It is a Targa, which already right there, not super, um, you know, rare. You know, a, a left hand drive hard top is rare. But uh, yeah, left hand drive Targa, not not super rare already. Not super rare. So we're, we're not starting out pretty good. Um, it might be a V160 car, which is the their their six speed, which is an expensive transmission. That is like a sought after transmission. Still not one hundred thirty thousand dollars, though. Still not one hundred thirty thousand dollars. though. And if I was asking one hundred thirty thousand dollars for a car, I'd probably take the garbage out of the back seat. I probably would do that. Um, front. I mean, the seats look fine. No aftermarket shit so far. Just looking at a stock photo, stock photos of a, of a you know, Supra. Cool. You know, looks fine. Let's read his description because this guy doesn't show underneath the hood. So we got to go and do some digging for ourselves. Um, it is a premiere edition. This was the hundredth Mark Super built and is original TT get track six speed car. OK, well, that's cool. I mean, if it's the hundredth, that's pretty rare. Um, the car is practically a 10 out of 10. Paint has been corrected and ceramic coated. The interior is flawless, black leather, tastefully modified, uh, not a raced out car. Don't know what that means. The car has clean history and 64,596 original miles. So pretty decent mileage right there. That is pretty low. Still don't think it's a $130,000 car right here, unless it being the hundredth Supra ever built means anything to anyone. Like, I feel like people are more after the rare color codes and stuff than it just being the hundredth Supra ever built. Like if it was the first one, I would understand it. If it was the 10th one, I would understand it. Hundred. Eh. You know, modless precision 6766 turbo. Uh, that's a pretty good turbo right there. HKS manifold, uh, precision wastegate. Um, he's got stainless downpipe, midpipe, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't look built or anything like that. Still the original six speed. So he's just got like pretty simple stuff. I mean, he's got flex fuel. He's got aftermarket injectors, braided lines. I mean, like he's got like pretty much like bolt ons and stuff like that with a fuel system. And I mean, he only has dual Walbro 450 fuel pumps, which isn't that big. I have dual 525, so I mean, it's not making that much power and it's on Infinity V2. So like besides it being the hundredth car and it being super clean with low mileage, I don't see anything that is like this thing is super rare, you know, like, I'm, you know, so what? It's the hundredth car, you know, I don't know if you're going to get one hundred thirty thousand dollars for that thing. You know, like if I were to sell my Supra, I would ask for probably around half that, maybe a little bit more, but you see my point here and my shit has a T56 upgraded rear end aftermarket seats. It's got all this bullshit. That is cool. This thing is whatever. Let me know what you think, though. Do you guys think this is a fair price or not? All right. Last car. <laughs> Forty-three thousand dollars for a 93 Honda. <coughs> I can't even say it with the strip. 93 Honda Civic. Holy crap. Forty three thousand. Four, three. 93 Honda Civic. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is this has to be one crazy Honda Civic. And it actually it is. I actually looked at it. It is a crazy Honda Civic. So it's like a fully built, I want to say road race car, 
which is pretty sick. It's still got the B18 in it. Uh, it's, uh, what is it? 500 horsepower, 393 torque on E85 at 14 PSI, which is, that's good power right there. That's good power right there. Like I said, I kind of regret going K series, but we haven't even tapped into the K series potential yet. So when we do, it'll be fun. Anyways, his engine bay, I mean, it looks great. It looks nice. I mean, I don't like how he heat wrapped this, but with this Ram style manifold, uh, you, you kind of don't really have a choice, you know? Oil catch can over here. I mean, it's really clean. It's, it's a clean setup. And the best thing of it all is it is indeed all wheel drive. Oh God, that wing is something else. But you know, for a road race car, it is what it is. He's got a fuel cell in the back. Uh, he's got the little bumper cutouts. He looks like he's on some TEs. I mean, dude, it's a great looking car. I just don't know if it's a $43,000 fucking Honda Civic, though. That's the one thing I, I can't seem to wrap my head around. I mean, 30000 maybe 20000 most definitely. I mean, it, it, it is expensive. And I mean, it is like a fully built car. Um, I wonder what, 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 uh, oh, I was going to say it's got to be a, a sequential but no there's no way it is the the funniest part is i mean it might not be funny it might be sad but it's cool but he claims he put over a hundred thousand dollars into this car into this right here hundred thousand dollars into this honda civic i don't doubt he spent a shitload of money on the car but a hundred thousand dollars i mean i'm in my civic maybe 10 total maybe 12 including the price of the car a hundred thousand for for this i mean it's sick but a hunt like keep saying that out loud it just sounds crazier and crazier i mean like like let, let, let's look at it really quick a built b18 non-billet i don't think it's billet or anything like that it's only making 500 horsepower so i can't imagine it being billet not that much money that in the car right there we're already at, you know, maybe five to 10 grand. The all wheel drive swap, definitely probably the most expensive thing on the car that I can imagine. But that's still like, you know, 15 grand, maybe, maybe 20. <laughs> it's, it's definitely expensive to do it. And that's why I haven't done it to mine. <laughs> and then suspension, suspension on these cars is very cheap. The exhaust is very cheap. There's not that much arrow on the car. I mean, dude, $100,000. I mean, he's got pricing for everything. Let's see what the most expensive thing is. All-wheel drive parts, $5,000. Mm. He includes the shell in the build list, which I think is just kind of stupid. $5,500. That's yeah, about right. That's about what I paid for mine. That is actually what I paid for mine, but it wasn't a shell. But I can tell you right here, I don't think all this adds up to, oh, $30,000 in labor. You can't. Oh, my God. You can't. Can't factor in labor prices to your build that's do it your fucking self then you know oh my god whatever i don't even care that just proves my point if he's asked to tack on thirty thousand dollars in labor by the way what fucking shop is charging thirty thousand dollars for this like a thirty thousand dollars dude i'll do the fucking all-wheel drive swap for 15 20 that's ridiculous dude that is insane okay all right i don't think i'm wrong in saying that that's absolutely absurd um mind-blowing mind-blowing right there badass car definitely a sick-ass car there's no denying that i'm not taking away from the coolness of the car i'm just calling cap <laughs> at 100 100 grand in this car and it's not even paint matched correctly like come on man get the fuck out of here all right whatever i mean it would slaughter my honda but jesus christ whatever all right anyways guys that is all i have for you for today if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know down below let me know what you think about these prices these, these guys are kind of asking an arm and a leg makes me want to sell a couple of my cars i mean jesus i mean thirty thousand dollars in labor holy fuck uh anyways let me know subscribe to see more videos like this one and until next video peace